All right, our rings look good. Our snap rings holding the piston in look good. Everything's clean. that nice and square This is where we see if all those videos I made about the chamfer and the bores paid off. It did. So when you're doing a stock rod journal FE, your bearing tangs will be pointing down in relation to the top of the piston. But if you're using big block Chevy rods, it's the opposite. You got to flip them over. And I got a, a tunnel port here I'm going to be doing. It's using Chevy LS rods. So whenever I go to put the caps on, I always just make sure I get the big chamfer and Point it out and line up your bearing tank. I found you.
I saw a couple of videos where the guys in the NASCAR teams were putting the engines together and they all had one of these so I figured I'd use one too and make us look a little more fancy I like to just do that, tighten these bolts just a little bit at a time. Turns over pretty easy still. There's a lot of old, I don't know about a lot, but there's quite a few sets of these old camera pistons that are out there that people don't use them because they're all standard bore but when we do a block I can do them to I can do an aluminum block in standard bore so they kind of work out well for these aluminum blocks turns over pretty easy. Looks pretty good. We got our rotating assemblies in. Looks pretty good. Forged 427 crank, which is still a good crank, take a lot of horsepower. And now we got our scat rods in there. So basically, all I'll do now is, uh, and we'll get our oil pump on it, and I'll put the seals in the back here for the rear main. I actually like using the seals. Um, what else am I going to do? We'll get our oil pan and windage tray on there. And then uh, we'll move on to put, putting the heads on. But uh, Everything's properly clearanced and working good. <clears throat> I 
this is basically the hardest part of doing any engine is getting all this part of it done the rest of it so you know it doesn't take so much but this one's going to be this one will take a long time just getting all your pieces on the front of it sorted out but be all right it should be quite a bit of compression there as well it's either 12 and a half or 13 and a half i think they came with two different types um we'll figure out what that is we're going to come up with a head gasket for it um i know uh cometic makes a good camera head gasket but i've never tried it on one of these aluminum blocks so basically what i'll probably end up doing is just taking the blue uh 1020 head gaskets and just uh I'll cut out a piece of gasket material to fit over the oil return and just glue it in place. And that's that's what my dad always did, so I'll do the same thing. But there she is.